Hello and welcome to activity one. Now for this activity we're going to be exploring sand and water and other objects we might find at the beach but also things that we might find in our garden and we're going to be doing it either in our house or we might like to do it outside. So for this activity you're going to need some sand. This is just some play sand that we've got. Um, if you don't have sand then you might like to perhaps use some soil instead okay that's absolutely fine or if you don't have those things you can just do it straight onto the floor like on the patio slab or or onto the grass okay so we've got some sand i've got some water because we thought we might want to explore what the water and the sand does when they're mixed together and then we've been collecting some objects from our garden i'll hold some things up so you can see we've got some shells this is a giant shell that we found at the beach once didn't we i uh, have got different types of shells got small shells got large shells here we go we found some like dried up sticks and twigs from the garden uh, we've got some pebbles we've got little white pebbles we've got flat pebbles round pebbles all kinds of pebbles and then we've got these little tiny stones here which perhaps we call gravel um, and then also we found some petals and some leaves that were in the garden as well so we're going to have a go at making some pictures in the sand perhaps we're going to have a go at exploring the water as well so um, we'll get on with this and we'll show you some pictures of what we do in a moment okay have fun and post some photos for the eyfs homepage. grace is having loads of fun with that activity she's out in the garden now collecting even more objects that she can bury and dig up um, she's really enjoyed pouring the water over the sand as well to see how it changes the texture Right, I hope you've enjoyed that activity too. We'll see you very soon for the next activity. Bye.